On October 29, 2025, the interstellar object known as 3I slash ATLAS swung around our sun at blistering speed, and everything we thought we knew about comets collapsed in seconds. The Atacama Large Millimeter Array, ALMA, was locked onto its coordinates during perihelion. But when scientists compared the predicted position to the actual one, they froze. Atlas was four arc seconds off its expected path. That may sound microscopic, but in astronomy, it's huge. It means one thing, non-gravitational acceleration. Something besides gravity pushed it. And that, my friends, is not normal. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, who's been leading the charge on analyzing this mystery, called the finding statistically impossible under standard cometary dynamics. Translation, a comet cannot just decide to accelerate, not without shedding massive amounts of mass. If Atlas truly accelerated, it should have blown off nearly 5 billion tons of material, about 15% of its entire body, turning it into a debris-spewing wreck. But telescopes didn't see any such debris cloud. The space around it remained eerily clean. That's when Loeb issued his quiet warning. If Atlas accelerates without losing mass, we must rethink what we're looking at. While Alma tracked the object, the SOHO, STEREOA, and GOES-19 satellites captured its brightness at the same time. And what they recorded shouldn't exist. Atlas grew bluer, not redder, as it left the sun's inferno. Comets always redden when heated, scattering sunlight through dust. But this thing glowed bluer than our star. That means higher temperature, energy emission rather than reflection, a surface burning hotter than 5,800 Kelvin. It's the ninth confirmed anomaly of this object. And if December's data shows no debris cloud, we'll have the 10th, a celestial body that accelerates through space without losing a single gram of mass. At that point, the word comet stops making sense. For newcomers wondering why scientists are so shaken, let's rewind the saga briefly. 3I slash ATLAS isn't just another icy rock. It's the third confirmed interstellar visitor ever detected, after Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. But compared to those two, Atlas is a different beast. If Oumuamua were a ping pong ball, Atlas would be a multi-story building it's a million times more massive than Oumuamua, a thousand times larger than Borisov, and somehow faster than both. Statistically, the odds of an object being that large and that fast are less than one-tenth of one percent. In other words, it shouldn't exist. Yet, here it is, defying every rule. It travels along the ecliptic plane, the same flat orbital highway our planets use. It expels jets of material toward the sun instead of away from it. Its chemical composition matches industrial nickel-iron ratios, not cosmic dust. It's almost dry, only 4% water, and the light it reflects is polarized in a way no natural object can reproduce. Every new observation adds another impossibility to the list. Each one alone could be a coincidence. Together, they're a statement, a statement that's getting harder to ignore. Right now, telescopes worldwide are preparing for the next milestone, December 19th, 2025. That's when Atlas makes its closest approach to Earth. If the five billion ton debris cloud predicted by physics doesn't appear, we'll have proof of propulsion without exhaust, motion without mass loss. And that would mean one of two things. Either we're missing an entire chapter of physics, or we're watching technology operate in real time. If you think the story of 3I slash ATLAS sounds extraordinary already, Wait until you see how deep the impossibilities go. Because when you add up every known anomaly, the math doesn't just break, it collapses. Harvard's A.V. Loeb and his colleagues have officially cataloged nine distinct phenomena that make Atlas statistically impossible under current physics. Individually, any one of them could be dismissed as coincidence. Together, they form a profile that looks, well, engineered. Let's break them down. Number one, the impossible trajectory. Atlas moves against the flow of the solar system, retrograde motion. That's not unusual by itself, but here's the catch. Its orbit is aligned within five degrees of the ecliptic plane, the same thin disk where every planet orbits our star. 
That kind of alignment for an interstellar visitor is like someone firing an arrow backward, blindfolded, and still hitting the bullseye. The odds? 0.2%. Even in a universe of billions of stars, that's rare enough to get every astrophysicist's attention. Number 2. The Anti-Tail Between July and August of 2025, Atlas violated one of astronomy's oldest rules. Comets always point their tails away from the sun. That's because solar radiation pressure pushes dust outward. But Atlas fired a jet directly toward the sun. It's like watching smoke blow into the wind instead of away from it. A complete reversal of basic physics. No known comet does this. Number three, too big, too fast. The third anomaly is pure mechanics. Larger interstellar objects should move slower because more mass means more inertia. But Atlas is both enormous and fast. It's a million times heavier than Oumuamua, yet travels faster than any known comet of its class. That combination has a probability under 0.1%. In cosmic terms, it's like finding a freight train outpacing fighter jets. Number four, the perfect timing. This one's almost cinematic. Atlas just happened to pass within tight proximity of Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, while staying completely invisible from Earth during its closest swing around the Sun. That window of invisibility lasted from October 21st through October 29th, when all major observatories were blinded by the Sun's glare. Coincidence? Maybe. But the timing aligns with an accuracy of 0.005%. That's like throwing three darts backward and hitting three different bullseyes while someone turns off the lights at the perfect second. Number five, the strange metallic composition. Spectroscopic analysis revealed something scientists didn't expect to find in deep space, industrial grade metal ratios. Atlas shows a high nickel to iron ratio, nearly identical to the alloys we refine here on Earth. Normal comets have random elemental blends left over from planetary formation. This one, it looks like it was mixed in a factory, probability of this happening naturally, under 1%. Number six, the missing water. Comets are dirty snowballs. They're 80 to 90% water ice with dust mixed in. But A-T-L-A-S, only 4% water. That makes it drier than the Atacama Desert, essentially a rock pretending to be ice. How does a supposed comet form without water in a frozen corner of space? It shouldn't exist, period. Number seven, the impossible polarization. When sunlight reflects off a comet, it scatters in a predictable polarization pattern. Every known object, asteroid, comet, or moon, fits somewhere on that chart, except Atlas. It shows extreme negative polarization, something never recorded before. It's as if its surface is bending light in ways no natural material can. Astronomers call it light behaving like it's been engineered. Number eight, the WOW connection. In 1977, a radio telescope in Ohio captured a signal that lasted just 72 seconds. It was labeled WOW, the best candidate for extraterrestrial communication ever detected. Guess what? Atlas entered the solar system from almost the exact same direction, within nine degrees of the WOW signal's origin point. 48 years apart, same cosmic address. That's not proof but it's chilling coincidence. Number nine, the impossible blue brightness. During perihelion, Atlas didn't just survive the sun. It outshone expectations by turning bluer than the sun itself. Blue light means hotter temperatures, beyond 5,800 Kelvin. No natural comet should glow hotter than a star. Avi Loeb called it a phenomenon without natural precedent. And now, with evidence of non-gravitational acceleration, the story adds its 10th layer of impossibility. If that debris cloud doesn't appear in December, it means Atlas accelerates without losing mass, motion without propulsion. Physics says that can't happen. And yet, it's happening. The countdown has started. December 19th, 2025. The day everything changes, or nothing does. For months, astronomers have been racing to prepare for this moment. Every major observatory, from Hubble and James Webb to the Very Large Telescope and ALMA, is pointing at one target, the returning interstellar visitor, 3i slash A-T-L-A-S. If the predictions are correct, this is when the mystery will finally break open. 
Because if Atlas truly accelerated during perihelion, there should now be a massive debris cloud, a plume of rock and ice at least a million kilometers wide. If that cloud isn't there, we'll be staring at the first object in history to move without losing mass, and that would rewrite everything. No natural explanation left. Inside Harvard's astronomy department, Avi Loeb is calm, but his tone has changed. In recent interviews, he's careful, scientific, but you can hear the excitement bleeding through. If there's no mass loss, that means there's propulsion. And if there's propulsion, it means design. He's not saying it's alien. He's saying it's intentional because nature doesn't course correct. Nature doesn't accelerate clean. Objects this large don't just change their velocity without throwing off fragments or dust. It's not possible under the laws of thermodynamics unless something inside ATLAS is generating force. And that's exactly what some of the latest data suggests. GOES-19, the meteorological satellite launched just last year, recorded localized thermal spikes, areas where temperature increased faster than any known comet outgassing could cause. If it were random sublimation, the heat signature would be diffuse, chaotic. But it's not. It's symmetrical, like controlled energy output the quiet coordination. Across the world, something unusual is happening behind closed doors. A NASA, ESA, and even the International Asteroid Warning Network, IAWN, have activated joint observation protocols normally reserved for planetary defense. That means they're treating Atlas not as a curiosity, but as a potential controlled object. Why? Because the pattern of its motion looks increasingly deliberate. Telemetry from ALMA shows subtle oscillations in its spin rate, not chaotic tumbling, but a repeating rhythm every 7.4 hours. It's as if the object is rotating on purpose, maintaining orientation relative to the sun. And here's the kicker. That same rhythm appears in low-frequency radio data, collected from ground stations in Chile and South Africa. Every 7.4 hours, a faint pulse. Too structured to be noise, too weak to be communication or maybe too advanced for us to decode. Scientists won't confirm it publicly, but the data is there. Something is transmitting, the stakes. If the December 19th flyby confirms these readings, if there's no debris, if the blue glow persists, if those pulses continue, then Atlas won't just be the third interstellar visitor we've ever recorded. It will be the first interstellar machine, not speculation, not myth an engineered object moving through our solar system, observed, measured, verified. And if that happens, the implications will ripple through every field of science. It means that intelligence capable of interstellar travel exists, or existed. It means someone out there solved the energy problem, the navigation problem, the propulsion problem, and possibly did it thousands or millions of years ago. And the biggest question becomes, why here? Why now? Because Atlas didn't pass at random, it traveled through the plane of our planets. It synchronized its closest approach with a time when Earth couldn't see it, and it performed a maneuver that defies the known laws of motion. If this was a flyby mission, then it's the most deliberate one we've ever witnessed. The other possibility. Of course, not everyone agrees. Some say it's still just an exotic natural object, a fragment from a hypermetallic system formed under bizarre stellar conditions. They say its nickel composition, low water content, and polarization could be the product of physics we don't yet understand. And maybe they're right, because if the alternative is technology, then we're no longer just looking at the universe. We're being looked back at. The world is watching. In just hours, the first images will come in from Webb's NIRCAM and Hubble's WFC3. If Atlas brightens again, or shifts course even slightly, there will be no denying it. Something beyond our solar system came here, and it noticed our star. Astronomers are calling it the most important observation window in human history. Reddit threads are tracking it minute by minute. Governments are silent, and the rest of us? We're left staring up, knowing that for once, we might not be alone in the audience. Whatever happens next, Loeb wrote, will mark a before and after in astronomy. Either we will expand physics, or we will confirm that technology exists beyond humanity. December 19th, 2025, the moment of truth. 
a comet that acts like a spacecraft, a spacecraft that hides like a comet, and a mystery that refuses to stay silent. 